about to be live. Here we are. Just like that. Just like that. There you see. That's what it's telling you right now. It's saying that Joey Blaze is live. Yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Joey Blaze. Joey Blaze. Live. There you go. Keep up the jam. All right. All right. I've done I've done uh, nine shows since last Sunday. Oh uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, we got two more next week. Well, I'm on one. You want to know why? Actually, you, you might not be on that either show, honestly, but you're invited to one of them. You want to know why you don't tell me shows this week? Why? Because you slept all weekend, Joe. I, hey, let me tell you, Ross, I was just all partied out from the party that was Ocean City over the weekend. And boy, did we have a bash at the beach. And what a time it was. How was your weekend, Ross? This is a little candid. Let's talk a little candidly about everything. Is we've been doing some serious shows. We've done the highlights. We've done the coverage. We haven't talked about our experience, like of everything. Like it's been an interesting month in flight football, to say the least. From KFFL becoming the premier league in the four state to OMFFL kicking off, um, the strongest it's ever been. You know, you take a look at what's going on with uh, the circuit and everything else, the rise of the DMV on the circuit, um, calling in the A, three teams, Rebels, or four actually, Rebels, No Mercy, Misfits, Dream, all represented. Like, April was a pretty crazy month. We had that wacky Spartans primetime game. The rematch is tomorrow, by the way. There's going to be a rematch of that tomorrow. Like way better than last April. Uh, I tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got flag football back, bro. Yeah, remember the shows last April around this time where well, it was me time coming time over and talking time about time random stuff. Comes back in five million times. Yeah, there it is again. What's coming in? The new Facebook thing is every time you leave it alive and come back in, it's it tells you. Oh wow! Okay, what up, sir? Hey, Coach Don Brown, how are you tonight? Looking forward to seeing your Tri-State Spartans in action tomorrow. Shout out to the Spartans right behind us. Who they play? They play Prime Time and the Reckless oh, Villains. Oh, that's right. The, the rematch. Of Prime Two Prime rematches. Prime. Villains, too. TJ Williams. Is he going to play? Word is TJ's hurt. Tuz is out. Oh, that's right. You Who's the quarterback? Yeah. Who does the Villains got? I said Tibbs before you, by the way. You know what the funny part is? I didn't even see your comment until, like, yeah, the next I know, morning. I know, I know you didn't. Yeah, it was weird because, like, I read it. I actually went back. And, you were on that shitty Wi-Fi. Yeah, dude. Antietam Cable is such <laughs> shit. Fuck Antietam Cable. I'm done with Antietam. Like, good Lord. Like, I'm done with that. Never again. Yeah, that's, that's, there's a reason why I, I do shows here more than over in my place. And you saw why with uh, the last two nights where I had this guy from Keith and started, dude, you're like, I just need better Wi-Fi than you have to eat them. I was like, I got expanded. You're like, sweet. You know, <laughs> you know what I love about May? So May is a pretty historical month for me in flag football and in my life. It truly is. I go back to May 2015 when I stepped down from survivors as the head coach. And that same day, we almost beat Miller Lite yeah, with yeah. Austin McKinney at quarterback and the Coley Jones catching five out of eight of the passes in that game. Two touchdowns, 144 receiving yards on broad acts at their height with Austin McKinney, a name that I don't think any of you at this point know. Only maybe me and a few others know who Austin was at this yeah, stage. Yeah, Little Austin McKinney. Like, you know, May 2016, that was when live debuted in Washington County. I sat in that parking lot filming Survivors and Top Gun from my car in the rain, quietly. I felt like Jerome that day. Like, I really I did. Really High really angle, not talking. It was a great time. I'm going to really fuck you up once you're done with your May story. Right on the 15th. And, you know, May 2017, 
the first day of live in county red knights broad axe that day yeah. the comeback by broad axe the one that's changed one everything still to this day. that was a great game may 21st 2017 is probably the one of the greatest days of my life huh I don't know if you were there or not. I don't fucking remember if you were there. I think I started in 2018. No, you were there. So you were 16, bro. You crazy? Oh shit! Your five year anniversary for flags yeah, coming up. Right, so the five year anniversary of the alumni bowl. You know what we need an alumni nine man tournament. Can we yeah, make that a cool. thing? That'd be cool to celebrate. You know what? Can we get it out there? Dustin Mitchell, Smithsburg Leopards. Or so I say, Schittsburg Leopards, as we used to say here at Boonesboro. Go Warriors, flag and tackle. If you guys don't call yourself fuckers, though, I'm, I'm going to be mad. That's what they should do. <laughs> like, Dustin should run with fuckers as, like, a jersey at they some should, point. I'm just saying. I think that would be wonderful. Um, but They should definitely run with that. Keep going with your May story. May stories, man. May 17th, that morning. Mm. Woke up at Ballinger Creek. It was a beautiful day. Went home, went over to the field, shot a couple games. Went out that night. My life was never the same after that day, dog. May 21st, 2018. Me, you, Tyler Spencer, right here in the garage. First episode of Uncut. We had the blunts on camera. We had the booze on camera. The dominoes. We talked mad shit. We said a lot of things that we probably shouldn't have said on camera or did a lot of stuff that we shouldn't have done on camera. But you know what? Uncut is how we got blunt talk. May, dude. May 2019. You remember May 2019? The month of the Warriors, the turnaround for the franchise. The fortunes change over after Ocean City. And the run the team was as on now began then. Remember May 2020? Five-man big man. Five man, big man. Undefeated. <laughs> Two and oh. Undefeated. TBT, the best nine and five man team in the four state. Greatest dynasty of all time. <laughs> what can we say? I, I team Big Books. I would talk shit about that, but I was involved the whole time, so I don't think I can. You know what? I bet you five hundred dollars for a rematch. Oh, shit. <laughs> May's always a good month, though, man. Have- What's your May story? We bought this house in May. You bought this house in May, 2016, where you heard about the alumni game. You and Brock Klein talking in the garage. The story of the alumni game. You know what they're saying? That was a good time. And then you go back and you think about how that led to the creation of the Warriors and how that led to help building up Washington County. How much the league changed after all that? Like spring 16, like don't get me wrong, fall 15, spring 16, we went through some big changes. A lot of progression happened. But when that fall 16 hit, everything began to change. The seeds were planted to where we are today. May's always been a hell of a month, man. What do we have on tap for this month in May? Let's go look and see. All kinds of shit. We got to be busy, 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 busy. All kinds of shit. First and foremost, kicking it off tomorrow, 8 a.m., Keith Giles. He'll be live all day. I'll probably make a couple appearances just to say hi. We got some games for you. Keystone Flag Football League. Season carries on. We got West Virginia Venom taking on Outlaws in the morning. Uh, that's going to be the first game right off the gate. I think that's going to be a really good game, a really competitive game, and one that I really look forward to watching. Um Looking it forward to see, though. Huh? It might actually be. You know, I got told him. It could be. Outlaws, you got to, if you can find a quarterback with plenty of good options out there, like Adam Allot, Cody Snavely, uh, there's more. There's some out there. Hold on. Hold on. Andy Hoffman. Hit up Andy Hoffman to be the quarterback of the Outlaws. Be because back in the day, his dad was quarterback for Hannigan's Outlaws. So I think if you really – you know what? Outlaws, Hannigan's Outlaws, they both wear red and black and white. This is perfect. Make it happen, Outlaws. Bring in Andy Hoffman as your quarterback. 
in honor of Hanneken's outlaws, bring in the son of Hanneken himself. Not really, Hanneken wasn't his father, but you know. <laughs> bring in Andy Hoffman. He already has the Hanneken's outlaw shirt. In fact, change your name to Hanneken's outlaws. Be the new legacy of Hanneken Knights. The new age outlaws. Just tell him that's part of the deal. He can wear his Hanneken stuff. I like it. I like it. Make it happen. Hashtag bring Andy Hoffman to Outlaws. Let's have it happen. I think it'll be big. I think it'll turn their whole franchise around. Um, if you're all watching, make it happen. Hit up Andy Hoffman on Facebook today. Don Brown's on the watch. Don Brown's curious. He's hearing this. I think he's getting a little nervous hearing about Andy come back. You know, Don had a losing record to Andy. So I think Don might be a little nervous now. That's not a shot, man. That's just me giving out the stats. Stats are stats are stats. But we got KFFL on month. You got another game tomorrow. Another doubleheader. Outlaws, they're back at it again. They take on the reckless villains. And what will be a very intriguing game of quarterback versus quarterback. Chad Wilson says he will come block if he comes back. There you go. Now you got a lineman. Grant Smith and Chad Wilson as two. Uh, that's you. Yeah, dude, make it happen. Outlaws, bring that's in Andy you. Hoffman. You'll get Chad Wilson. That will be way better than what they're doing right now by a million miles. Seriously, I think that'd be a good move for all parties. Like, like I said, Outlaws, there are guys out there. They Take could, chances. They could very well go 2-0 with that situation. I think they could do pretty well oh. there. Like, yeah. They can make it happen tomorrow. It's very capable. You bring in a veteran like Andy against someone like Venom, a young, inexperienced team. He knows those guys, though. He played against Coach O in there for a while. Yeah. He knows what their tendencies He's are. Nice and then you look at it. You go against <laughs> reckless villains. Nobody knows what the villains. Tim is the quarterback versus Andy. Nine-man, big-man quarterback matchup. We got to make that happen. Make Andy versus Tivis a thing. Telling you, Outlaws, hit him up tonight. Chad's available. Get Chad. Make sure you don't get hurt, though. We need him Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't <laughs> let him get hurt, please. Yeah. But like I'm saying, make it happen. Andy that, Hoffman to the Outlaws. It would be your luck if – everybody <laughs> plays a lot of football now. Yeah, it's like great. It. It's the best, uh, man. Like Flag football is at an absolute high. You know, you take a look, and if anybody, by the way, let me pin it in the comments. We got the uh, Zoom call link. If you want to join in, feel free. If you're watching, feel free to share. Um, but like I said, we got KFFL, Primetime Spartans rematch, Primetime Villains rematch. Keith Childs, he'll be live tomorrow. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to have some fun, man. I love league ball. League ball is fun. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, I had a lot of fun in Ocean City last week. Like, Ocean City felt to me like an old-school tournament from way when I first started doing this stuff. Like... The Hagerstown League, the Ocean City type tournament. Yeah. Like, it, it did... It, but it was like... It's on a... It's, it's, I feel like Ocean City is a better location than Hagerstown is for yeah. a tournament. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it was really fun. It, it wasn't... It wasn't... It wasn't uber serious, but it was competitive. Like, there was some good bump, good talent. Regan, who's going to be a KFFL tomorrow? John, you're going to see some of the best talent in the four state on display tomorrow. It's going to be loaded. It's going to be lit. It's going to be legit. Um, you know, uh, here's another event, but I don't know much about it. So let me know. Um, I don't know who's doing that. Is that like Sunshine Bowl? Some organization. I have no idea. I've I haven't heard anything. Um, other things we're covering this month. OMFFL. Like I said, Keystone will be live next four Saturdays. We'll have action all four Saturdays in the next four weeks. And that'll be the end of the regular season. I know Ross won't be there. Ross uh, will never forgive Ship Pittsburgh for taking out his knee. And Pennsylvania makes him uncomfortable. It's okay. That's a, I understand. You know, you got to take a look at it, like, from this perspective, though. <laughs> we got Keystone, and then we got OMFFL. That's going to be really awesome. Sun All month long, we'll have it on the 2nd, the 16th. Um, and 
that's it. Only two weeks of Oh Mother Felt this month. Um, they're going to be really busy as well. Uh, May 23rd, they're going to be hosting the Timothy Rich Youth Nine Man mm-hmm. Tournament. Um, if you're wondering about that, they're, it is a 12 to 14 age group tournament for uh, kids. If you want to put a team in, I believe it's free. Um, so contact uh, Terrell Gordon and Robbie Sparks about it. Owens Mills Flag Football League hosting it. Should be a really good yeah, time I down there. I hope they keep doing it, and I hope they keep – I hope they add, like, different age groups and stuff, too. They are saying that for yeah. future events they're going to. You know, this is an early experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine-man is something that really you've only seen on an adult level. I don't know any kids' leagues for nine-man. I haven't heard about any, at least. But, you know, I, I'm just really know, glad – Huh? I know what locally. Oh, do you? I mean, that's what my kids play. Oh, they, they, they play, play nine-man? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Well, I mean, depending on how many kids you have, but for the most part, we play nine. Right. But, uh, yeah, that would be a good time. We're going to have that. Um, so, OMFFL League Ball, KFFL League Ball, other events going on for the month. Um, we're making an invasion. It's happening May 24th. TBT invades the North. New York City, we're coming for you. The North, we're making our way up there. Team Blunt Talk is heading to NYC. We're going to be live. We're going to be in the Bronx. We're going to be in Brooklyn. We're going to be in Long Island for AFFL. We're going to have some coverage. Myself, Jerome Russo, Mark Brown. And then next week, Atlantic City. Oh, my God. Did you hear the news? Workhorse Media. They're involved in it now. Yes, sir. That's a big move. Workhorse, Predator, us, Mark Brown. You could see Preston and Skinny there, perhaps. That's Man. <laughs> the team. I hope I do. The media comes to get Atlantic City, bro. To so that's the plan right now, you know. Um, we're going to run a couple shows before AFFL and AC during the week. Um, I'm going to be making some appearances. If anybody wants me for any event, wants, needs a, wants to have me for any event, let me know. If it fits the schedule. You got coming up too. May 21st, the you most significant day of my life. <laughs> I feel like you just went to a place there, though. Yeah, flashbacks to many years ago. Oh boy. Sorry, fellas. I gotta go. Right, but anyway, this. what we're dealing with now is you have a wedding that day. But I will be in attendance though. And we're gonna be live for the wedding in the uncut page. I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> I might do that. By the time I yeah. it's gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be legit. It's got to be May.